You take it though, you get sick. And she comes, man. She comes. There is a doctor. Arias, Arujo, something like that. Runs a clinic on. He might be able to help. Are you getting some work done on you today? today? That's a crazy arm you got there. The first oh, well. operation. How many credits did you pay for it?
request granted. Yes, who are you? What do you want? I'm very busy. Dr. Araujo, a friend sent me. I heard that you might be able to help someone in my position. I might be able to help a lot of people. So, out with it. What do you want? I'm suffering from DDS. If I don't secure a reliable source of neuropazine soon, my augmentations could kill me. Hmm. By the looks of you, you're in the advanced stages of withdrawal. No wonder you're sickly. But unfortunately for you, I don't deal in neuropazine anymore. No pose is in short supply and the margins are just no good. I've heard about the shortages. VersaLife isn't producing enough of it to meet demand. It's not right, one company controlling the drug that so many people rely on. Ah, uh, it's a sad state of affairs, Pana. But there is a new hope. A new drug has become available to replace Neuropazine. From Zephyr Labs. It's called Rhizine. Rhizine? Tell me about it. It's like Neuropazine? Yes, in fact, it's virtually identical to Neuropazine, but cheaper and not made by VersaLife. And believe me, VersaLife is not very happy about that fact. They try to suppress it, keep it out of the lean clinics, try to sabotage the drug trials so that no one can get it. They want everyone to keep taking Neuropazine. So Rhizine isn't available legally anywhere? Not yet, Hefe. But it's only a matter of time before Sapphire has it approved by the WHO. And then I stop making money selling it. <laughs> Okay, I want a month's supply to start with, and then regular, untraceable deliveries for as long as I need it. Meto Pana, I am not a trafficker. I treat anyone who comes in that door, but that's it. If you're still interested, I can administer a dose now to treat your symptoms, but no more. Okay. If it gets me back on my feet, that'll do. Ah, uh, a man who embraces his destiny. Like me. Hold out your arm, please. The fleshy one. Ah, uh, just a moment. There we go. Ah, oh, that stings. Yeah, that's better. Works fast, yes? No more seizures. But for how long? I need to secure a supply for myself. And a friend. It sounds like you need more help than I can provide. I can put you in contact with someone at Lim. I can't just walk into Lim. I mean, I don't want anyone to know who I am. I need to keep a low profile. That's why I came to someone like you. Someone like me? <laughs> Please, I am a very resourceful man. I have in my possession a Lim preferred client card linked to an anonymous RFID. Using this card, you can access all of the services of a Lim clinic including as much neuropazine as you can afford, while remaining safely anonymous. That's if you deserve it, of course. What do you want for it? Name your price. Answer me this. A man is cast adrift with no family bonds, no old friends, and no morals to guide his actions. What do you call him?
man who is free to do anything he pleases. You say these words, but I do not believe you mean it. I will sell you the card for a small fee. Here, take the credits. Ah, very good doing business with you, Mr... Uh, well, I don't think I want to know your name. Go see Camila Cardoso at the Lynn Clinic downtown. She runs the place, and she can make anything happen. But I must warn you, she is a tough woman, so be polite. People around the world. I need your help, please. What's the problem? My boyfriend, Luis, he's been missing for weeks. He started working for the Skulls about a month ago, and now he's gone. I tried to find him, but nobody wants to help a Nupo's rat. Can you look for him? Can you find Luis? If I'm gonna look for your boyfriend, I need more information. Tell me about Luis. He's ex-military, with augmentations not so different from yours. But his body never accepted them, and he got addicted to the drugs. It wasn't really a problem until the shortage. That's when Luis had to pick up work with the Skulls. He didn't like talking about what he was doing for them, but they paid him in new posts. And we needed a steady supply, so I didn't ask. But now he's gone, and without him, I don't have a new post hookup. If I'm gonna look for your boyfriend... He's... Okay, I'll help you. You will? Thank you. Luis has military-grade leg augmentations. That should help you spot him. Anna, it's Ben. I met with the doctor. Looks like the neuropazine shortage is worse than we realized. But I found an alternative, another drug. Something called Rhizine. It seems to do the same job. You took it? How do you feel? Better. First time in days I haven't had a pounding headache. But I only got enough for one dose. So I'm going to the local limb clinic to track down some new pros. I have a contact there. Be careful. Lim runs ID checks on all of their clients. If they figure out who you are... Don't worry. I've got it under control. Good luck. What happened? Did you find Luis? I'm sorry, but I was too late. Luis is gone. Gone? 
Luis is gone? It's all my fault. I told him to take that job. Because of the new pools. Luis is dead. Because I needed a fix. Oh God. How am I supposed to get new pools without him? I'm sorry. I know what it's like. At least you tried. Thank you for trying. Here, take this. I told you we cannot offer you any services. I need to see Dr. Cardoso. Alvarez sent me. I've got a client card. Alvarez? Aguevado Congo. Low life scam like him are ruining our business. <sighs> All right then. Go ahead and swipe your card. And don't steal anything while you are here. Your preferred client card has been rejected. Are you Dr. Cardoso? Who are you? What do you want? How do you know my name? A mutual friend sent me. Alvarez. He said you might be able to help. Come in. For Camila, she's down the hall. I know your kind. 
You're a mercenary, Jess. With those Augs, what else could you be? What business do you have with Alvarez? If you came here looking for combat drugs, I can't help you. I'm looking for a resupply of new pods, but Alvarez's stock is dry, and you're my only option. That puts you in a tough spot, doesn't it? I haven't seen hardware like yours in a while. Maybe we can work something out. I am the manager of the Slim Clinic, but you probably knew that already, didn't you? So then, what should I be calling you? Name's Ben. I guess you could call me a freelancer. Well, Ben, I'm afraid you've come at a difficult time. This clinic used to be a thriving community of augmentation engineers and physicians. We were really pushing the boundaries with cutting-edge technology, making a better world. But things changed. Government sanctions and trade embargoes are crippling us. Only the very rich can afford augmentation therapy now. And with the neuropocene shortage, ordinary people are being forced to take desperate measures. Doesn't Lim control the distribution of neuropazine all over Panama City? Why can't you make sure everyone gets a fair share? It's not that simple. The market is rigged. Our prices are regulated and our supply is rationed. With street drug versions of Rhizine replacing neuropazine, we're powerless to do anything about it. We're being squeezed out of business. That's why I've got to do something. But I can't use official channels. I need someone special. Someone under the radar to help me out. Are you interested? Tell me what you have in mind, and I'll tell you if I'm interested. Every day I'm losing people. I don't know what kind of operation Zafire Biotech has going, but their rising is all over the black market. My clients are eating it up. Someone has to be held accountable. Somehow, the gangs in the slums are getting hold of shipments of the drug meant for clinical trials, and they're selling it on the street. God knows what they're cutting it with. If someone could get into gang territory and figure out how they're getting the rising, Someone like me, you mean? I have a contact at the train station who deals with the gangs. He's a gunrunner, calls himself Cobra. He knows how they operate. If you want to help me, go see him first. It's very important that I find out where the rising originates. I need to know if it's coming from Zafire, or if it's not the real thing, if it's some poison the gang is cooking up. They could do terrible damage. That's a tall order, Dr. Cardoso. Why should I risk my neck for you? Because you don't have a choice. If you want neuropazine, I'm the only game in town. I see your point. Fair enough. Okay, I'll do it. But don't back out of your commitment. Thank you, Ben. You're doing the right thing. Anna, it's me. Listen, I found a new source. If everything goes well, we shouldn't have to worry about our new pod supply for a long time. That's good news. Wait. If what goes well... Hold it right there, citizen. Looks like you're packing some serious hardware. You must be an agent. Government? Military? Ex-military, but I got tired of fighting other people's wars. Shit, yeah, I get that, but I need some help, and I'm willing to pay for it. 
You help me fight my war, and I'll make it worth your while. You've got my attention. What do you want? I'm working on a case involving illegal rising distribution in Panama. And I think I got my man, the Kingpin. His name is Alvarez Uraujo, local scumbag. Somehow, he's got a line on the stuff and is selling large quantities of the drug in the slums. And you want to put him out of business? We're pretty tolerant of low-level crime in the city. Recreational drug use, but this is completely different. Lots of people are dying. We've got bodies piling up in the streets. And now, they're trying to push this junk downtown. That can't happen. So what do you want me to do? Take him out? Nothing like that. I just need evidence to make a bust. To see if you can make contact with this lowlife. And then search for evidence. A list of customers, receipts, a pocket secretary would do the trick. If I take care of this for you, what do I get? Well, besides the warm fuzzy feeling of making the world a better place, how about cold hard cash? I'll do it, but if I get you the evidence you need, you better not stiff me. You got my word. During a routine transfer to the Rikers Island. It's not late. It's early. Want to dance? The prisoners escaped. Exciting. You must be Cobra. That depends. Who the hell are you? Camilla Cardoso sent me. That should be good enough. Yeah, she told me you'd be coming. Said you're going into Skull's territory. 
which means you're either one tough son of a bitch, or you've got a dent in that metal head of yours. Maybe both. Take enough hits and after a while you stop counting. So, what have you got for me? First of all, call me curious, but why would someone want to go into gang territory if he didn't have to? I mean, what are you looking to find? The slum gangs are pushing some new drug, Rising. People started taking it instead of Neuropazine. Somebody has a problem with this, and they want to find out where the drugs are coming from. You want some kind of humanitarian mission? Is that it? Let's just say I have a personal stake in the outcome. Now, Cardoso said you might be able to help me. Yeah, I might be able to help you. But nothing comes for free. You do a little favor for me, and I'll tell you everything you want to know about the Skulls. What kind of little favor? And why should I care? The Skulls are run by a shitbag called Diego. We had a... a disagreement over a deal, and he's been after me ever since. Guy really holds a grudge, you know? So, you want me to do your dirty work? Kill him? No, no, nothing like that. Look, Diego keeps a record of all his contacts, you know? Like insurance, in case he ever got busted, he could bargain his way out with the Federales. That list would be very useful to a guy in my line of work. I want you to find it. Steal it for me. I have a feeling that won't be easy. What's in it for me? I'll tell you everything you want to know about the Skulls. So you'll be, you know, prepared before you go in there. Otherwise you go in on your own take your chances. But if you do make it back, I mean, when you bring me the list, I'll give you something real valuable. Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. You better not be wasting my time. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for Diego's files. Where does he keep them? A pocket secretary. Something he keeps close by. Might even be, you know, in his pocket. <laughs> okay. So what do you want to know? The doc said you were a gun runner. Maybe you can hook me up with some free firepower? I keep my gear stashed, to avoid attention. But I reckon I have some extra ammo I can give you. Tell me about this bloke Diego. What I heard? He took over when he killed the last guy who was boss. Slit his throat while he was asleep. Sounds like a real gentleman. Eh, he's not all bad. When I was dealing with him, he was pretty reasonable, most of the time. As long as I was straight with him. But he's kind of... sensitive. Like if he thinks you're disrespecting him? <laughs> By Asso. Get the hell out of there before the bullets start flying. That's what I did. So, this gang, they call themselves the Skulls. Yeah, I guess they think it sounds cool. Most of them are pretty young and stupid. They get recruited as teenagers and usually get killed before they have a chance to grow up. Life's kinda cheap around here, huh? And people are afraid of them? Hell, they run half the city. The police let them be most of the time, easier than getting killed. Cops only come in if they have solid evidence a major deal is going down. It's not worth the risk, you know? I think I have what I need. Thanks for the help. Whoa! What's that? Aye, Cobra. We are coming for you, pendejo. We're shutting your ass down. Nah, oh, shit. I got a jet. These creeps will smoke me. You should get the hell out of here, man. Wherever 
what you are. Hey, what are you hiding? Causing some to doubt the legitimacy of the drug altogether. Others question the third.
Anna, you read me. I need you to record my audio feed right now. What? Why? Just do it. I want you to keep a copy of this conversation. Meto, looks like we got a visitor. Hey, gringo, I'm talking to you. So you are the tourista with the big cojones who's been snooping around my block, huh? You're showing a lack of respect, hombre. Not looking for trouble. I know you could have your men kill me right now if you wanted. That's right, I could. So why would you be stupid enough to grow the skulls? What did you think was going to happen? You just tell me what I need to know, and I'm gone. I don't have to tell you shit, but go ahead, ask. Maybe you'll catch me in a good mood. Where are you getting the Rizee? No one's supposed to have it yet. What's your source? My source? You a cop? Why the fuck would I tell you? Word is people are turning to Rizee because they can't pay for new pods. But even though Rizee hasn't been cleared as safe, you're still selling it. How does that work? Rayos. This street belongs to me, punk. Lim's market is legit. Their customers are rich assholes, but I give people what they really want. Where I get it, that's my business. That's bullshit. You're preying on the weak. Peddling rising like it's some kind of back alley street drug. Huh, <laughs> you're damas turista. What we are selling is the real deal. I accept no substitutes. Where do you get it? Everything comes our way. We just gotta shake things loose. We want Rising, we go to the main guard in the cargo ships. Those Bell Tower boys, they got expensive tastes. Know what I mean? In return, we keep the dead old imagos off the street. They even dump the bodies for us out the sea to feed the fishes, huh? <laughs> Sounds like you've got a real sweet deal going on down here. Except for all the corpses. Hey, it's a hard knock life in my town. No me jodas. Now get out of here before we dump you. Anna, are you there? Did you get all of that? Every word. Ben, what's going on here? Bell Tower is operating in Panama City. They're supplying Rizine to the slum gangs. Damn. Ben, if Bell Tower is involved, you need to be careful. There's more. They're hauling away the bodies of anyone who overdoses on the drug. Yeah, so I heard. But why? What are they trying to hide? I don't know. I'll let you know when I find out more. <laughs> <laughs> 